in order to accept the decree of Allah Almighty that is also known as sabr when you can be happy with whatever Allah has decreed la ilaha illallah muhammadur rasulullah that is my ticket to jannah that is your ticket to jannah wallahi if you don't have that ticket you stand no chance to enter jannah Ab struggle to try and read the quran correctly make an effort Strive to read the Quran correctly. So if Jannah and Paradise was achieved by, if Jannah and Paradise was achieved by the quenching of the thirst of the dog, what if something more dedicated is provided for that dog? Don't you think there's a greater chance of getting Jannah? Common sense. Promise yourselves and promise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not a day will pass without us having something to do with the Quran. Read it, understand it, read its meaning, even if it means one single verse. The words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, His words are grand, they are great, they are stretched beyond the east to the west. What we see as east to west is actually nothing, it is minor in comparison to what Allah has created. When something bad happens to you, that is not because you are a bad person. It happens because it is a test from Allah. The only time bad things happen, and that's because you're a bad person, is in the Akhirah. Sometimes it might be a punishment from Allah, but you will never know. You will never know. The same is happening to our time. It's seeping, it's leaking. We're using it sometimes for that which is not constructive. It's destructive, it's a waste. It's a waste of time. So look at it and every minute should count. Ask yourself, how did I use it? This is why we say there is no room for laziness in Islam. Turn to Allah, read your five salah a day. A Muslim and he does not read five salah? Allahu Akbar. How can that be, my brothers and sisters? If you have read one in the past and now you are reading two, it's a very big improvement. But that is not still the ideal. You need to continue because as Muslimin, we have khamsa salawatin fi kulli yawmin wa layla. Make an effort to think about declaring the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You may not know that may be your dying moments. Allahu Akbar. If you have wealth today, position today, beauty today, goodness today, do not think it's going to last forever. There will come a day if Allah wants, He can take it away from you in several ways, with disgrace or with grace. We have a problem in life. When we have a problem, Allah says, don't worry, with that difficulty, there is ease. You will never know what ease is all about unless you've been through difficulty. Those who have a beautiful life, Sometimes they are still worried and depressed because they don't know what it is like to have suffered a little bit. If you help your brothers and sisters in that particular condition of dire need and you've gone out of your way to alleviate their suffering in any way, Allah says, if that happened in this world, you need to know that we will alleviate your suffering on the day of judgment. Give good news to those who bear patience those who accept the decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, those whom when calamity strikes, difficulty comes in their direction, they are quick to say, indeed we belong to Allah and unto Him is our ultimate return. Please start every single day with blessed words. Start the day with praise of Allah. Start the day seeking forgiveness of Allah because there will be a day when you will die. And guess what? If you made that a habit, it will be a blessed day. Whoever alleviates the suffering of a human being in this world, Allah will alleviate their suffering on the, here, on, on the great day. Subhanallah, the day of judgment. وَمَا هُوَ بِقَوْلِ شَيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ فَأَيْنَ تَذْهَبُونَ إِنْ هُوَ إِلَّا ذِكْرٌ لِلْعَالَمِينَ لِمَنْ شَاءَ مِنْكُمْ أَنْ يَسْتَقِيمُ وَمَا تَشَاءُونَ إِلَّا وما تشاءون إلا أن يشاء الله رب العالمين. 
Mm-hmm.